You almost had him. Do you remember? Do you remember? We got chain block extensioners. Pretty sweet. I want to work here. We should put Mason to work here. Can you send me here every day? Send you here and make you work here? It's heavy. Okay, here you go, Nahilo. Mason just organized these for you. Put them nice and neat in a row. We'll go on my screen, I'll show you what I mean. I put the number here, off to the right, and I do it with uh, first name, small, across the whole width of the last name. So these started out as a solid block, right? Oh yeah. That's, that's everything wrong. does, yeah. you know, everything. This is, you know, this is a 3D print and this is me trying to make it. Oh, nice. make it perfect. This is a 3D print. Yeah, sometimes parts are so, uh, crazy to think about, so yeah. getting a 3D print's not about it, just to hold it and, you know, any, everything's a concept in front of me and then I have to decide how I'm gonna make it, which can be pretty challenging sometimes. And these are made out of billet? That's, yep, I think billet, 6061 six, aluminum. Do you want to tell people why do you make them out of billet? It's, it's for the durability of it, you know, aluminum is uh, used in the aircraft, in the aircraft industry, you know, this is 6061, this is, they call it, uh, Aircraft grade aluminum. Uh -huh. We go a little bit harder than that in the seven seven zero seven five series. It's harder for sprockets and stuff, but everything for the most part is all solid. But it's sure. it's really light, it, and uh, it's, it's I, also you know, really strong. After I begin to switch cheeses, you know. yeah. <laughs> Verify if you guys like that font. Look the way that looks. Yeah, that looks good. You okay with that, Luke? It'll, you'll see when I lay this. I just kind of got the size of it. Now I'm gonna lay it up and cover this thing. You want to just Judd, right? Judd in the number, right? Oh, they want their first name too, oh, I guess. Full name? It looks better that way. Sometimes it depends on the last name. The last name is too. Uh, they got short, letters. Shorter, it looks man. weird. I like, I like to stack it all in there. I, I have okay. a good eye for it. Right. Cool. What about for the lady? Should we just have it say princess? Yeah. You want yours to say princess? Yeah. And Luke's can say pansy? <laughs> Finally get this custom made for Luke and now we can't find him anywhere. Luke. That's pretty cool. Nice. That was nice. <laughs> Looks like a good fit. Perfect fit. Nice. I like that. What do you think? Get it implanted in my stomach. It looks rad, man. It's kind of like giving your bike a tattoo. I didn't know. It's official, know man. This is that. officially going to be your bike. It was already his bike. But now it's official. Now it's official. It's like, you know when you have a girlfriend and once you finally get her name tattooed on your arm, then it's really official. And then you break up. Which reminds me, I need you to get a tattoo of my name on your arm. Because you know what always happens, right? As soon as somebody gets the tattoo. Do you love me or not? No. I love you enough not to do it. So how much does this machine cost? Uh, I don't know. You'd have to talk to those guys. No? Do you know how much this thing costs? Well, about a hundred, hundred grand. Hundred grand, wow. So that is a hundred thousand dollar machine right there. And they've got like five of them. Why is it stuck? Pretty cool. Sweet. 
Awesome. Love it? Mm -hmm. Okay, no crashing allowed. We don't want you to scrape it. Next thing you know, once you get a different bike, we'll take this off and you can wear it as a necklace. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> or, or we can put it on your hubcaps when you turn 16. <laughs> Almost done, buddy. Check it out. Yeah, that's my favorite right there. Awesome. Let me see. All right, guys, I want to give a big thank you to Bobby and Chris over here for uh, inviting us, letting us come and check out. I'm really impressed with what you guys are doing because these products, it's obvious you're, you're building them by hand. The uh, carbon fiber, you're building it by hand. All these machines, you have to make the products one at a time. So these aren't just mass made overseas, but you guys are putting a lot of care and attention to what you guys are doing. American manufacturing, man, we love what we, love, we do. If people want to come check it out, like can they, can they come and order? Sure. Order things online, but can they also come down and, yep. and check all this out in person? Yeah, right here down in uh, Stewart, Florida, we're off I-95, or uh, toll free, 1-877-4-NIHILO. Or you can always go on our, uh, our website, nihiloconcepts.com. Just make sure you use our affiliate link when you, uh, when you go to their website. Yeah. And uh, Chris- yeah, it's really great to have you guys, and uh, you know, it's definitely, definitely come by for a tour anytime, and show you around the shop and whatnot, and show you, show you the behind the scenes and everything in action here, you know? Absolutely. Thank you very much, guys. Much Thank you, Chris. Yeah. And also, I just want to say, I like your shoes, oh, man. Kill shots. Man. Yeah, you gotta <laughs> love them. <laughs> Looking you good. Love them. I was one of the first ones rocking the. the that was the original. That was the OGs. And yeah. Then, uh, you know, I just scooped these ones. I look how dirty they are already. Right? Good yeah. taste, man. He's got good taste. Okay, so I just found out that they have an alligator over here at the Moto Sandbox. And uh, this whole time here in Florida, I've not seen an alligator yet. I've been looking, and I'm like, oh, is that one? Is there one over there? I bet there's one over here in this pond. But so far, I have not seen an alligator. So I'm gonna go over here and check it out and see if I finally get to see one. Well, I see it, kind of. I mean, I see that it's there, but I can't really see it, because. It's mostly underwater, so um, yes, there is an alligator there, but I'm gonna—I'm not gonna count that. I'm not gonna count that as me seeing an alligator because, like, I only see like four inches of it. Okay, 
So, what does that mean? I don't know. I just do three fingers instead of two just because my hands are a little bit smaller and it's harder to pull in the clutch. With Yeah, but the problem is, if you're doing three fingers on the clutch, you're only hanging on with your pinky True. to the handlebar. Right? So what happens is, if you have three fingers here, you're scared to let the clutch out because you know if you let it out fast, it's going to throw your body back and it throws your body back, you're not going to be able to hang on. Almost had him. <laughs> Is that 110 a little much for you? <laughs> <laughs> 